to have a very special place for us to pray the nine-day novena to Padre Pio. And I have chosen the private chapel here in the convento, the friary of Santa Maria della Grazia, where Padre Pio celebrated Mass for two years when he was not allowed to say Mass in public. Uh, this reads, this is the altar that Padre Pio celebrated the Holy Mass for two years. June 11, 1931 through July 16, 1933. I feel this is a very fitting place for us to pray our novena to Padre Pio. It is a great honor, a great privilege for me to be here in this little chapel, this private chapel, so very special to Padre Pio. I hope that you can feel through me and through watching that you are here also. You are here in my heart and in my thoughts. That you are here in the place where Padre Pio celebrated Mass, the Holy Mass. You know he was connected with our Lord Jesus Christ during the sacrifice of the Mass Padre Pio offered himself up as a victim he was united with Christ in the crucifixion and here we are in this very very holy place Take a moment and realize that these walls, as they say, if these walls could only talk, but take a moment and think of the many prayers that Padre Pio offered here, the many times that he lifted the Eucharist up to God, the times that he lifted the blood of Christ in the chalice as he lifted it up to God. It is truly a very special honor for all of us to be here because this was a place that Padre Pio spent hour upon hour in prayer and meditation. And to be able to bring this to you is truly a gift from God and from Padre Pio to allow me to do this. Myself, being here in this chapel, I feel the presence of Padre Pio. Padre Pio is in my heart at this very moment. He is in my heart always but a very strong, strong feeling that Padre Pio is right here with us. As we pray this novena to Padre Pio, we will remember all your intentions. For those people that maybe have drifted from the church, Maybe your family members who have drifted, or how they are living maybe a different life, that we may pray that they come back into the fold, that they may find the truth and the peace again that Christ offers us. There is no better example than looking at the life of Padre Pio. This chapel, what a great example. The humility of Padre Pio, the obedience of Padre Pio. People sometimes were trying to bring Padre Pio down 
to destroy him, to destroy his reputation. But Padre Pio obeyed. He obeyed his superior. He obeyed Rome. And never complaining. Very difficult thing to do. You and I both know that. In our daily lives, I know in my own, that there are times that I will question someone or their motives. Not Padre Pio. Padre Pio accepted what his superior said. He accepted what Rome, what the Vatican said. He was obedient to God. He followed the word of the gospel. So, being here in this chapel, let us really embrace this opportunity to ask of Padre Pio to help us, to be within us always, to guide us along the way. He wants to, you know, God loves a sinner. <laughs> Uh, not that we are all sinners, but we are not perfect, are we? And so here, while we are in this very holy place, we can ask for the strength, the courage, the patience, and the perseverance to keep trying. If we fall, okay, let us get up and try again. Well, let us now take into consideration all that is around us as we pray and as we unite ourselves with Padre Pio. Please join me in the Novena to Padre Pio. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come to me as Father and friend, Jesus, and do not leave me alone. Lord, abide with me. I am just a pilgrim, wandering in a world enveloped by darkness. Bestow on me your light and your grace. Lord, abide with me. In this precious moment, embrace me. Let this union between us last forever. Lord, abide with me. Accompany me along life's journey. I need your presence. Without you, I become faint and fall, Lord. Abide with me. Evening is coming. And I am racing like a river towards the deep sea of death. Lord, abide with me. Be my strength in sorrow and in happiness whilst I live and until I die within your embrace. Lord, abide with me. Day six of the Novena to St. Pio of Petrocina. O Holy Padre Pio, from childhood you offered yourself as a victim for others. God accepted your aspiration, and at San Giovanni Rotondo, you became another Christ suffering. Of your interior struggles you said, who will be able to discover the interior martyrdom that I suffer? A single memory of those inner battles makes my blood run cold in my veins. I heard the voice that called me to obey you. O oh God, but your enemies tyrannize me, wrench my bones, and contort my entrails. One day on your body appeared the stigmata. You desired to be a victim for all for those who knew you and for those you did not know, for the just and for the unjust. From the time of your discharge from the military service, 
you have become aware of the much evil in this world and you offered yourself for the church and you asked God that he discharge on you his punishments for these evils as necessary proportions you wanted to bear the punishments for the sins of others. Grant to us from God the ability to accept sufferings and to make them an offering of love. We ask this in the name of Christ, our Lord, amen, for your intentions. For all those who are alone and have been forgotten and have no one to remember them, for those who are involved in disasters and war throughout the world, for the unborn, for peace in this world, for the Holy Father, for his intentions, for all the priests, the clergy, religious and missionaries, that they may have strength to continue God's work, for all our family, our friends and our enemies, if we have any, for all those who are suffering in the homes, the hospitals and the jails, all those in need of God's care, and all those who have died, our loved ones, and all the souls in purgatory, that they may rest in peace. For all your daily intentions, all those you are thinking of, for all the intentions of all our brothers and sisters throughout the world, so that our sufferings become the portal to a union with Christ, let us pray, so that God will help us comprehend the efficient power of accepting our crosses. Let us pray, so that God will teach us how to accept and offer our sufferings to Him. Let us pray. Let us pray to Hail Mary and asking our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Grace, Our Lady of Sorrows, and probably be able to help us in offering our sufferings to Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Our Lady of Grace, pray for us. St. Pio, pray for us. Our Lady of Sorrows, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Again, we speak of suffering. If we can learn to offer our suffering to Christ, what a great gift it will be. Pave Pio certainly knew how to do it, but I know that he used, he used our Blessed Mother, he asked our Blessed Mother for help, because again our Blessed Mother knew the true meaning of suffering. Suffering in silence, suffering with humility, just like Pave Pio. Let us pray and hope that we will have the strength to turn our sufferings around to a joy. Remember tomorrow, tune in for the seventh day of the Novena to St. Pio of Petrocina. God bless you.